and welcome back folks to Let's Play Wario Land, Super Mario Land 3. Here we are in Mount Teapot, course number 10. Take a good look at this level, because you will never see it this way again. Unfortunate, because I kind of like this level. You can't throw stuff if you're off screen with it. Ha! Ah, I smashed you in the air! Let's grab ourselves a jet hat, and blow through the whole level. Oh. There's something up there. There we go. Ah! We get a heart. We can also bypass the entire rest of the level up there, but I'm not going to because that's lame. You have to use the jet hat to get through this. Ah! Ooh, nicely done. Nice combo, Wario. in here. Heart. Nice. I think that's a dragon hat. Yep, it is. Yeah, I played this game way too freaking much. I can bypass this by jumping up here, can't I? There we go. Unfortunately, you can also get hit by enemies if they're off screen, even if you can't see them. So I guess it kind of punishes you sometimes if you if you try to explore too much. Like, oh, you like this level? You think you know so much about this level? Well, ha! There you go, eat this. And we could use the bull hat to get through there, but I don't think there's anything in here. There's a checkpoint. Eh, let's grab the bull hat, let's explore. Let's go explore, and we're never going to see this level again. I keep saying that, and you'll find out why in just a bit, but... Let's drop down here, let's drop down here... And it's just water. Great. That was a waste of time. Climb up already, Wario. I want to keep going. I want my jet hat back. Oh, garlic. Um, no more jet hats around here, damn it. Oh well. The bull hat's not bad. It's really powerful. Squash these guys. The bull hat is basically a souped up regular version of Wario's own charging ability. And note to self, stop hitting your damn pop filter. Grab ourselves some hearts. The bull hat's great because you get hearts from both garlic and standard bull hat pickups. Which is pretty cool. Gotta make that jump. Oh, I stuck into the ceiling. And we reached the exit. Awesome. How many coins do I have? I have 48 coins. Let's try the heart game again. Let's try the B course this time, since we have the heart, we have the coins for it. And now they're a bit faster. It's a dangerous duck. Got him! Haha. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get something in the gray area, in the dark gray far right section of it. Nope, that was a miss. I knew that was gonna be a miss. I also don't want to let the bomb blow up too late, because you have a timer right there, and that sucked. Come on, I just want some more points. Ah oh, no! Yeah, I, I should have waited for him to come back the other way. I want one more bomb at least. Okay. Now! Gotcha! Ha <laughs> ha! We get 70 hearts for it! So we get a 1-up! Awesome! And you get 5 bombs, if you get 5 hits, you get a 3 lives. So basically like getting 300 hearts. Alright, and let's head on through the rest of the Mount Teapot, course number 11. Ah, this section. I think we got our first star here. Garlic. Let's get that garlic. This is the first game to introduce Wario's garlic fetish. There are games like Smash Brothers said that he eats garlic all the time, which is why his breath smells so bad. Crap, I can't get him out of the way. There we go. More hearts. There's people who believe that the name Wario is simply Mario with the M's 
jumped up, the M flipped upside down, which is one of the possibilities. But there's other people who believe that it's a play on the word war. He's a warlike Mario. And there's a door here, but there's more stuff around here that we haven't gotten yet. Get out of the way. There we go. Ah, squashed you. Squashed you with my giant Wario ass. I'm not getting many coins here, but ooh, we get the jet hat. I want that jet hat. There we go. And what's this? What is that sound? It sounds like it's an enemy, but it might sounds like it's also kind of part of the music. Oh well, let's head on forward. Let's go into that door. Oh, drop down. Don't want you to touch me. And garlic. I don't need the garlic. I have my jet hat. I want to let these guys touch you. Although you can't drop on them like that. But it's a bit more dangerous. And you got to use the jet hat because they give you the jet hat right here. They gave it to you because they want you to use it, obviously. What they want you to do is jet from left to right, like that. I am sucking at it. They want you to jet from left to right like this. But I don't want to do that, so I'm just going to do it the easy way. Ah. And I don't have a key. Oh look, there's a key. Later sections are not quite so easy to find the keys for. But what's in here? This is... A crown! A jewel-encrusted crown that goes in C for crown, I guess. Some of these things line up with their letters, some of them do not. I mean, why is harp under B? Because... Kid Icarus plays a harp, and he's a boy for B. I don't know, that's really reaching. No! I want to... I like his eyes when you kill him. What's this? Garlic. Ugh. Oh well. Yes, these little dragon head dudes will turn based on how you jump on them. Currently, they will turn in a counterclockwise motion every time you jump on them. So he's currently pointing down. When I jump on him, he will turn right. And I should have grabbed him when he was further down. Oh well. Let's ditch him. Wait for him to go down. There we go. Go up. Left, down, right. And sirens from the fire engine going by my house. Wonderful. And we get our first star. And if you charge into these guys, you will get. You will also get coins. Or you'll get more. Uh, Parts for killing them, because you get ten for killing them with the star, and three for killing, and one for killing them with your standard charge. So you can get a lot of uh, hearts by killing them like that. And you gotta be careful here, because the bridge will fall and collapse and drop you into the lava. Oh no! Hurry up! Get to the door! Yay! Wario made it. We're up to eleven hundred and some change. 794, almost 1200. But down we go deep into the bowels of Mount Teapot, the burning interior. Course number 12. Oh my. There's more of these pelican dudes. These guys are neat, because if you grab an enemy. Not like that. If you grab an enemy and throw it into them. They drop out 10 gold coins. And you can do that for every enemy on the screen. You can get absurd amounts of coins by doing that. Gonna get him to respawn. There we go. Drop. Take a nap. And there we go. Ah, awesome. I need a power-up. That's a heart. That's not a power-up. And I just killed him. Wonderful. Hey, there's a dragon hat. That's what I needed. 
Just what I needed. He's gonna drop again, isn't he? Oh no! He killed the pirate gooms against each other. Come back. Let's get some more. I'm probably gonna break 300 before I even hit the bonus round in this level. Alright, what's in here? A bull hat. Uh, I think I'm gonna keep the dragon hat for now. And, oh well. I think down there is just a heart. And we have a ghost coming up at us. I think I killed him. Yeah, if you get the bull hat, you can grab the undersides of those conveyor belts. It's a really neat uh, feature. Or these dangerous ducks. Throw them into one another and kill them. The easy way to do it. That's the easy way to solve all your problems. Just throw them into one another. And they have boomerangs, which sound weird. You want to try to stomp on them when they're doing that, because you know where they're going to be. And this level doesn't have an exit gate. Instead, we get an exclamation mark block, which can bounce the off against the wall. And when you reach the corner, it sounds really cool. But let's hit that. And that ends the level for us. The exclamation mark blocks will cause drastic changes to the external map. Stuff like crashing the top of the teapot into itself. And, but what happened outside? Find out next time on Let's Play Wario Land. Later, folks. Let's tally up our score. Thirteen seventy-five. And the treasure glints for us. All right. See you in a bit, folks.